And RefWorks is a database that you create yourself that can store all of the articles that you find and it also can make bibliographies and it just stores all of your research so that you don't have to go back and redo things if you forget them. So the first thing we're going to go do is look up an article. So we're going to go to Google Chrome. And we're going to just use the regular databases that we usually search with. So we're going to use Google Scholar and Psych Info. And the first thing we're going to do is with Google Scholar, because they have different ways of uh, importing the citations to RefWorks. So no, we're first going to go to Google Scholar. And I'm just going to search something by Dr. Conley. Okay, so we found one that we wanted. So the way that we get it into RefWorks is we're going to click Cite right here. And then in this lower right-hand corner, it says Import into RefWorks. So we're going to click that. And in my case, I was already logged in, but it could bring you to a login page. And that is where you're going to either log in because you already have an account or you're going to create a new user. And this is free for us because it's through the University of Michigan. So you can just use your U of M email address for your username and you can just make up whatever password you would like. So um, I already did that and I'm already logged in. So it says import references. So our citation is imported and we can go to view last folder. And here is the article that we just found in Google Scholar. And the cool thing about RefWorks is that it allows you to make folders right here on the right-hand side. And you can drag this like this and just put it into whatever folder you would like. So now we're going to go back and we're going to do this with PsycInfo because it's a slightly different process. Okay, so we're going to search the same article. Okay, so we found the same one. So the way that we import these articles from PsycInfo into RefWorks is we're going to do add to folder. And you can add as many as you want. You can just add a few of them. So there's this box on the right hand side here with the orange bar. And we're going to go to folder view after we found all the articles that we would like. So here's our folder with all the articles we found, and we're going to click export. And this last choice is direct export to RefWorks. And we're going to click the save button. And now we are in RefWorks. And it's the same thing, if you want to see it, you can just go to view last imported folder and it comes up. And we can also drag this entire thing into here. And another cool feature of RefWorks is that it allows you to create bibliographies. And you can choose what output style we would like. And for the Stigmatized Sexualities Lab, we use the APA 6 version. So you can just do Create Bibliography. And it does it for us, which is very, very cool. So that is how you use RefWorks. Good luck. And also, if you need some written directions, there's also a file labeled how to use RefWorks in C-Tools.